Hi guys, my name is Anastasia and today we will see the 5th episode of the most exciting and popular TV show My 600 LB Live. Guys, as usual, I will watch this video with you, speak my mind, share my emotion, um, a little bit philosophize yeah, why this uh, person can't uh, lose this fucking weight. And I immediately apologize that every 3 seconds my screen will flash because YouTube does not skip this video in a different way and guys, I try to fix it but unfortunately it doesn't work in any different way. But I hope for your support and understanding and I will be waiting for your likes and comments. <laughs> Besides, don't forget about likes, it's so necessary for me. So and um, I hope that this uh, person in our episode will be stronger than previous personality because you know guys, it's um, it's of course it's so hard to, to change your life for one click, yeah, but if you want of course you can and uh, I hope that this person, she doesn't want to search a lot of obstacles and accuse us why she can't, yeah. I hope that she can handle it and, and we will watch it together. Let's do it. Let's start. 39 years old. She is so young. Ah, Houston. Oh. So she lives uh, right in Houston and uh, it is nearly with the doctor, so she won't have to spend uh, much time on the road. daily life is such a struggle now because of how my size have gotten. It's hard for me to do things because of my weight. So I rely on my family and friends to help me do what I have to do. Even with all the weight I have on me now, I'm still able to get around and do some basic things myself, like cleaning myself on my own still. So I push myself to do that but it's hard, it's very hard. When you're my size, you have so many areas you have to keep clean. I get out of breath and it's very painful. So I can barely handle finishing, so I'm never fully clean because I can't do it all at once. Mm -hmm. I really have to take a shower like twice a day in order to get very clean. And it's hard not to smell, but I want my oh. family to try to help me with it, you know? Right now, I'm staying in an apartment with my son and my niece and my daughter-in-law. I had to move in with them because I wasn't able to take care of myself anymore. Usually, it's my niece Mimi or my caretaker, Cameo, that has to help me most. I try to limit it to getting me what I need. But you know, the reality is, I can't do it on my own sometimes. And she once is more independent. Trans, I still have to rest a bit. Because of how tired that makes me, I'm exhausted already. And I know it's that way because mm -hmm. of how I eat. You know, eating is what I do most of the day. It's the only thing to bring me the pleasure that I want. A week? <laughs> Why does she have a week? It's so interesting. Want is what I look forward to constantly. Either Trina or my niece will give me my first meal of the day. They know what I like, and they just bring it to me. Come in. Hey, I'm here to bring the chicken. Yes, because I'm hungry. Aww. Trina and my niece, Mimi, both give me a hard time when they bring me what I want. So you mean to tell me you finna eat all this chicken? You wanted all this? I ring, really? Mm-hmm. But what I'm eating, I just want to be left alone to eat. I don't want to hear all that. But they at least still bring me what I want, so I can overlook that. Plus, when I'm eating, it helps me forget everything else and block out a lot. You know, because when I have any of my favorite foods, all the hurt of me is taken away until the food is gone. You ain't even offer me a piece of chicken. Do you want a piece of chicken? No, I, I don't I, want no chicken. I mean baked chicken. I'm trying to eat healthy for the kids, you know? You got your children, I don't have my children. 
So what happened to her that she sizes her stress? And guys, you know how often I hear this phrase, I live for the food. Oh, it's it's delusion, yeah, no doubt people enjoying for eating, but putting it uh, as a goal, as your life, it's, it's absurd. I'm tired of Oh. Praying. I'm tired of praying. Don't never say you get tired of praying. You I ain't mean to say that. Yeah. Be because I pray every day. Pray without ceasing. That my kids come home. <sighs> but anyway, I know I have to go to work. Okay, thank you, friend. And I love your name. I love Nothing you. you can do about it, okay? Okay. Okay? Love, love you, baby. You, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. See oh, I love this female friendship. She will bring to her eat. She will have it. Everyone is happy. Nice. Later. Okay. Oh, I'm glad she gone. Whenever I have something to eat, I will not stop until I eat it all. When I'm done eating, then like an hour later, I ask somebody to come give me some more food. Because I never want the feelings, that food gives me to stop. So I just sit and eat for the rest of the day. Because food is how I survive, you know? It's killing me in a lot of ways now. But for most of my life, it was what got me by. And if I didn't have that, I don't know what I would have done. I know my food addiction had led me to this point. But for many moments in my past, it was the only source of happiness that I had. I was always the big girl, even when I was really young, because I always have a love for food. So cute. That started very early on, because I know I use food to feel better, right from the start, because my parents separated when I was five years old, because my dad started abusing my mom, uh. and she left him. And I think that's when I became depressed, you know? And that's when I remember the sort of my eating. Yeah, domestic violence is so scary, but it's not the reason to bring yourself in such a state. Yeah, it's not about pain, it's about weakness. Unfortunately. The way it started was at church. Because my mom was a church woman, so she went to church every day of the week. And, you know, there was always food at the church functions and plates of food and pastries. And I just eat as much as I could. I used to just eat myself basically into a coma until I threw up and stuff like that. And food became my source of comfort, so I was always trying to get it. My self-esteem was real low because of how big I was, and I still think I just ate and ate because I was depressed. My parents and my siblings talk to me about my weight all the time, but they enabled me because they always gave me food, you know. Both my mom and my sister did, because with my mom, she took care of us. But she had to work hard to provide that life to me and my sister back then. My mom is from an island near South Africa called Mauritius. And because she always had to work, you know, she gave me fast food to feed me and my sister. So I just put on weight as I got old. And by the time I was 10 or 11 years old, I was 140 pounds. I kept eating as much as I wanted, so I kept gaining. And when I started high school, I got into over 250 pounds at 14. So being that big made high school hard. I got teased and bullied a lot. And I didn't have a lot of friends, but I had boyfriends. Mm -hmm. When I was 16, I started dating someone, and he was abusive uh. physically, verbally, and emotionally. Uh, my self-esteem was already low. So I thought I was lucky to have his interest. Even though my boyfriend was abusive, I stayed with him. And I got pregnant when I was 16 mm -hmm. and had my son when I was 17. That's when I had Ja'Cory. But after, I got pregnant. Oh, this abuse relationship, so she had such a low self-esteem and this guy still mocked her. Guys, you know, I really don't understand men who beats a woman um, why? Why you why you does make it? If you want to have fun, go to the gym, go to the boxing, but why you're still mock for this girl? It's madness really. And my boyfriend broke up with me. Ah. I was a single mother at seventeen. And with the pregnancy, 
I put on another 100 pounds, and I was up over 350. But with the stress of having a child then, I just kept eating to deal with that, you know, because I was terrified. I had to try out of school, and I didn't know what I was going to do. But thankfully, my mom helped me out some. I had help for a couple of years. But when I turned 19, I had a lot of tragedies change my life. In a span of a little over two years, I lost my dad, then my mom, my oldest sister, and my aunt. And it was really devastating for me. It caused me to eat a whole lot. But once my parents was gone, I was homeless and I had nowhere to go. Me and my son slept at a metro bus stop until we met this woman, and she took me to the shelter for children and women. And that allowed me to get back on my feet for a bit. I was 21 then, but I didn't know how to raise a child and provide for myself, but the people there, they showed me how to take care of my son. Cameo was one of them, so that's how we met and became friends. And she always looked after me from that point on, but with the guidance from all of them, I became independent. And then while being at the shelter, I wound up dating someone and I wound up pregnant with my oldest daughter. No. And they had a rule against being pregnant while I was there, so... They so, in general, she loved sex, really. But I don't know um, why she didn't use the contraceptions, if uh, she know about what does it mean, sex, yeah, and sexual life, sexual addiction, maybe. Yeah, but why she didn't use, for example, gundons if she didn't want to have a child? Kicked me out because I got pregnant while I was there. And I tried to do what I could to make a living. I was 24 and around 500 pounds. So that made it hard for me to work consistently. So for the next six or seven years, I either stayed with a friend or who I was dating. And I had three more children. My weight increased during that time. And I got to around 600 when I was in my early 30s. Oh. I was struggling and I started to turn to alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then it escalated from there. When I was 34, I met some people that was not good influences on my life. I turned to drugs because I was depressed and I was hanging around the wrong people. Oh, shit. That time was my lowest point because all my addictions led me to lose my kids. At that point, Ja'Cory was 18 and I had gone out on his own and I had my four other kids. And someone had reported me because of my addictions. And so CPS came and took my three youngest and I was devastated, and I, I actually lost my mind, you know. But it led me to a wake-up call. You know, I got clean and sober for my kids then, but when I got rid of those addictions, it led me right back to food. Sobriety has made my weight increase. And I think at this point now, I'm back up to 600 pounds again. From one addiction to another addiction. But if she feels that she can't cope with this addiction, that probably she should have gone to a psychologist and solve this problem. It's normal. I had to move in with my oldest son, Ja'Cory. And I feel bad because I really want him to live his life. But because I'm his mother, I think he feel like he's obligated because I took care of him in the past. Every day is up here a battle because my mom can't control her eating. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should always be there for your mom. So I'm trying my best to take care of her. But trying to get my mom to eat the right stuff for her is really a battle for me because she don't really kind of care for too many items that I bring. As a son, I love my mom. I don't want her to pass away. I want her to live a happy, healthy life. So I really do hope my moms get better. But I can't take care of myself yet until I get rid of my food addictions. You know, I got rid of my other addiction. And now this is the last one that stands in my way to get my life back and to get my kids back. Hopefully. Hey, Amy. Hey, girl. Hey. No, it's your How friend. I the food. Oh, I love thank you, girl. <laughs> Thankfully, my three youngest are with family, but I want to get them back. And that's not gonna happen unless I get all the weight off me. But I have to break my food addiction to do that, and I don't know how to. That's how I get by, and that's all I do with my day. I sit on the couch and wait for my food, 
And then I eat till I want to pass out. And then shortly after that, I just do that again and again until it's time for me to go to bed. The next had day, I do it all over again. Eating is my life. My favorite, too. Oh, girl, look at that. I know what you like. My mouth is watering. Oh, my God. <laughs> When my aunt calls me and tells me to bring her food, it's kind of conflicting because I want to tell her no, but then I know she's going to get angry, so I just get it for her anyway. I do it because I love my auntie, but my aunt has to do better. And if my aunt keeps... Uh-uh, uh, it's not about love. It is a fear that she will be angry to her, watching uh, another person and bringing food uh, that she eats and uh, knows him. It's horrible. On eating like she does, death is the only outcome. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amy, you gonna eat all that? Girl, well, hell yeah. <laughs> when I'm eating, I feel good, I feel happy. And it's the only time I feel like that. I wanna be happy, so I never wanna stop eating. Even when I'm full, I push myself to finish off the food that I have. To make sure it's all gone so no one will get it. So once I have what I want, I'm going to eat it all no matter what. And I've never been able to change it, you know? What the is that? I did try a diet in the past, like eating salads and fruits. But I don't like how plain it all tastes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I end up adding... Like bacon and stuff that I don't need, a, a whole lot of ranch, a whole lot of cheese. So it tastes good, and I just want to eat what I want. And it makes me feel embarrassed, because I know my family worries about me and wants to see things get better for me, you know? My nieces and my son try to motivate me to just get up out the house because I be in the house so much. It's not about real happiness. It's really a cheating part in your mind. It's be like, come on, I'll go with you. And I think about it, but the food always wins out. So I just stay inside and eat. But there's a big part of me that does really want to change. Oh, girl, thank you for picking it up for me. I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. You know I love you. Mm-hmm. Watching my mom in her current conditions is hard sometimes. My biggest worry with my mom right now is basically her whole body. Like, I don't never want her to just be bed bound. I haven't got to the point I have to bathe her and stuff. Like, I just don't want it to. At this point in my life, I got a lot of things. And that have, that may happen soon. If she only sits, eats, and sleeps, that in six months she will simply lie down. Ah, oh, fucked up. I want to take care of it. Like, just have a job and a career or whatever. But if my mom doesn't get help, I'm worried that she's going to die. So that's why every day I try to keep her healthy, because it's my time to take care of her. You know, I want to stop so bad so I can get healthy and be a better mom to my kids so badly that... Sometimes I cry when I'm alone in my bed, you know. I just cry to myself and I just pray to God that somehow I can find a way to lose the weight and have a normal life before it's too late. I love you. Love you too, bye. I see you later. Okay. So it's really so simple, just stop to eat these fatty foods and start like a new life, yeah, it, uh, with sport activity, go to the gym, yeah, uh, move more, yeah, and uh, say no for all junky food. And it is necessary to have an employment with psychologist, she needs it. Oh. They came Me to and my the friend Cam, y'all, are here at Dr. Niles to see him about help with my weight. <coughs> she wants to be with me because she is the one who encouraged me to try to do this. She and my niece have been trying to push me to get help, but Camio suggested I reach out to Dr. Niles. So I did, and now I'm here. Irene? 
My hope today is that Dr. Niles gonna be able to help me lose all the weight off me so I can get better for my kids and have a better life. Mm-hmm. I think I'm around 600 pounds, give or take. Whenever you're ready. And at that weight, I'm just not able to function like I need no more. Okay. It is so interesting. Wow. Oh. Oh. I know that weight is unacceptable. And I'm ashamed I let it get as high as it is. But I'm ready to turn it around now. Y'all can go to the exam room, okay? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. I just need Dr. Now to give me the support to do that so I can stick with it and be successful this time. Because on my own, as much as I want to do it, I haven't been able to so far. So I have to have this help, and I'm really hoping to get that today. No. Hello, how y'all doing? My how favorite doctor. You? I'm Dr. Jordan, and you must be Irene. Yes, how are you, Dr. Now? I'm doing okay. And who is this young lady with you? My friend, Cameo. She stayed down away from me, but we've been knowing each other for like 10 or 20 years. All right, Irene, what brought you here? Um, I want to lose weight to be a better person mm -hmm. and a better mother to my children. Okay, so what you have done so far to lose weight has not been successful? Um... Um, so, what issues? I need to go on a diet, and um, I just want to lose weight because it's hard for me to move around, and my bladder is weak because of the weight, and I have a lot of back pains, if that makes sense, because I'm overweight. All right. Well, none of that helped me understand ways you tried to control your eating habits before. So I'm guessing the answer is you haven't really done anything up to this point. No, I haven't. I talked to a nutritionist and I talked to a doctor before about plans to lose weight, but I never actually went through with it. So what do you eat in a typical day? Typical day, I'd eat chicken burgers, fettuccine with shrimp and chicken. I do eat like vegetables. I like snacks, like chips and soda. And I love cookies, but sometimes I overdo it. And I think over the years, that's why my weight increased because I've always been a big girl, even as a child. All right, well, I think it's safe to say you- So in general, she eats all the forbidden food on which it is impossible to lose weight. <laughs> Right about overdoing it when you eat. But so, what do you think you can do to change your eating habit? If you eat all that junk food that you mentioned. Uh, I think I need to stop eating the cookies and the cakes, basically, and I'm gonna start eating like salads and no fried foods like bake and. We have already seen which portion of burger she had. Mm hmm sauteed and stuff like that. And I think I'm gonna give me a trainer too because my friend works out, you know, and she has her own trainer. And I think that can help me also. Well, why haven't you done that so far if you think that's a solution? I'm gonna do it now. That's not the question. The question is, why haven't you done anything to change so far? Because I see that you got a lot of medical condition, and if you drink soda and all those uh, junk food that you mentioned, you're gonna be 600 pounds. And in the situation you are now, where your health is starting to fail, right? but mm -hmm. you haven't done anything to change that. So what are you willing to do to change that? I'm willing to stop drinking soda and just drink water and juice and get on a salad and fruit and diet. juice are not part of your diet either. It's not? No, <laughs> it's not. No. Okay. So what are you willing to do to change your life? Get on a diet and uh, try to lose the weight and get help from others to do what I do to be a better person and uh, be a better mother to my children and do what I have to do to get healthy, basically. Okay, do you get your own food or somebody bring it to you? Both. 
So who bring it to you? Her. She, your enabler. Oh, oh man, that's what I didn't want. <laughs> I do not enable her. So I cook what kind healthy. of food do you bring for her? What I eat, she eat. If she want to eat it, I cook healthy. I try to deposit goodness and healthiness into her <laughs> if she'll accept it. All right. Okay. Well, she clearly has a negative support system that enables her. And that's what has to stop, and she needs help to change. So I'm going to give you a copy of the diet as well, so you'll be familiar with it. Okay. And see if you can help her out to stick with that. <coughs> and uh, see if we can get her to understand what's going to be a healthy eating habit. Okay. okay? Okay. Okay, um, Irene, you feel you motivated to make the changes? Yes, I'm very motivated. Okay, so you just need to know what kind of changes to make. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, here's what we can do. I'm going to give mm -hmm. you some instruction. Mm -hmm. Starting now, you're going to start eating only three times a day. Mm -hmm. No more than 1,200 calories in a single day. And if you do that, you're going to be able to lose some weight. And we're going to see um, what are the potential for you. To be honest, I don't believe that she really wants to lose weight. It's not a magic like, oh, and you're the most skinny girl in the world. No, it's really a huge workout with your body, with your mind. But we will watch. You to make some progress in that direction, okay? Yes, sir. And the goal I want you to work toward is to lose at least 60 pounds over the next two months. And if you do the diet, that should be very easy for you to do. Okay. I'm gonna also give you some instruction about doing some exercise. I want you to do one hour of exercise instead of watching TV in the morning and one hour in the afternoon, okay? Okay. So you think you can do all that? Yes, sir. How much you can walk before you give out and get tired? I can all walk a little bit and then I get tired and start huffing and puffing, then I have to stop and I pass out and have, I always have blackouts and my best friend is concerned. Her name is Lolita. She's concerned because she be with me sometimes too and I done passed out and had blackouts on her and her mom before. Uh, how often you pass out? Like when I cough, it brings me to like pass out and I start having headaches and my eyes mm -hmm. will go back and then I'll come back. So how many times that happened that you pass out? It happens every day. Almost every day? You know, like I have a cough and uh, I cough to where I, in my mind it get, I get dizzy and I pass out and I see black, and then I'll come back. And my son was like, Mama, just put your hands up. And I'll put my hands up, and he was like, Mama, are you okay? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm okay. And he's really concerned about me. Have you had tests from so to scary. check out to make sure you're not having a seizure? Yes, I have, and they told me it's due to my weight. Well, if that happened every day, then and this is concerning. So we got a lot of things we need to do to get you on the right path. Um, but everything is going to be up to you uh, to make the changes with your eating habit and do your exercises and follow up with the instruction. And that's going to be what you need to do to get to your goal weight, okay? Yes, sir. So that means that you're going to have to change your eating habit. You think you can do that? Exactly. Yes, all right, we're going to do some testing in the next few days and see what kind of help you are in mm -hmm. and what your potential are for going through a potential surgery, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to get some stuff for you and bring it in, and there'll be somebody coming in to your blood. Yes, sir. And then we're going to start you on a diet and exercises. Yes, sir, thank you. Any questions? No, sir, thank you. All right, so you feel like you have enough support in your household to help you to lose weight and be healthy? Yes, sir. Okay, great. All right, uh, let me get some stuff for you. I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. I have a lot of concerns about Irene and her situation, particularly the state of her health because she's coughing a lot. And from what she describes, that happens any time she physically exerts herself to the point where she even passes out at times. All right. Um, 
And this is the uh, instruction you need to go over and study to show you what you need to work on it. And this is one for you too. So uh, you read this every day. Mm -hmm. And here's a list of food to avoid. So you read that every night, okay? <laughs> what I'm worried about is that Irene Kutam is severely compromised pulmonary system. So we need to determine if there is anything that could lead to a life-threatening situation for her in the near future. So I'm going to start running some tests on her. And then, depending on the results, possibly arrange for her to see a specialist if there is anything concerning. So. <laughs> On a daily basis, you need to evaluate all three factors. Jesus, screw me out. It's so scary. But overall, the biggest factor behind her declining health is her weight and how much strain that's currently putting on every organ in her body. So hopefully, she's ready to make the changes she needs to improve her condition. So far, she hasn't seemed to do that. And if that doesn't change right now, then her health is going to continue to decline as her weight puts more and more strain on her body. And the reality is it probably cannot handle much more of that. So she can't risk her condition getting worse because there's a good chance she won't be able to survive that. So your goal would be to lose 30 pounds a month, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna also give you so guys everything is in her hands she just needs to change her eating habits portion control and move more and i'm sure she will show the best results ever but under one conditional if she follows all the rules of the doctor and doesn't eat at night and over eating then it will be successful but in another case mm -mm. you a book I want you to pay attention to this chapter about your exercise. Mm. Mm -hmm. So these are exercises that you can start doing on a daily basis. There are several pages and go every exercise do those. Okay? Okay. And there is some recipe here for the food um, and breakfast. <coughs> there is a recipe over there for uh, meals that you can uh, read and find out about those. Oh, okay. Okay, so you read those, it will help you to stay healthy. <laughs> okay. If you Oof. need anything, give me a call. And I'm gonna set you up uh, for some testing. Okay. Um, make sure we find out about those, those uh, blackout spells that you have, okay? All right, do you have any question? No, sir. All right. Uh, somebody would come in uh, to do your blood test. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to set you up for some testing, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. If you need anything, give me a call. Okay, have a blessed day. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye now. Bye. Okay. My appointment with Dr. Mel was excellent because he gave me some news I can use. Come on in, Kayla. Can you dress in black? Right. Yes. I feel hopeful and very motivated and determined. But I know this challenge isn't going to be that easy. Yet I normally just go right here. Yeah, guys, health problem when you're obese and unavoidable. And uh, in your case, it is lungs. But uh, I know the situation when it's even worse. But the amount the doctor now is asking me to lose is obtainable. If I work hard, I know I can do it. I'm going to stop bad eating habits and exercise more and get my family members to help me as yeah. much as they can. Especially Cameo, because Cameo really does motivate me. Yeah. Oh, my butt is stuck to this. Oh, and so, it was very important that Cameo was here so she can be able to help me on this journey that I'm about to take. But Dr. Now says, this is up to me. So I'm gonna put my best effort into this and work hard to do what he says because I want his help and I know I have to do it to be a healthy person for me and my children and my family. 
you know? I have a lot of willpower. I really want this, not only for myself, but for my children. And I don't want to be like this anymore. It's taking a lot out of me. So I'm ready to start this journey. One month later, yeah. Ah, first month. Mm -hmm. It's been a week and a half or so since I went to see Dr. Now. He had me see some specialists a couple of days ago to see about my passing out and all of that. But they said the issues that I was suffering from was weight-related and nothing like neurological. It's the strain my weight has on my lungs and that whole system. So they said it's even more important that I lose weight really soon to stop that from getting worse. So I've been working on changing my whole life. Cameo is coming over to help me make my meals and do my exercises. And she also took out all the bad food in the house. So all that has been an adjustment. I'm not gonna lie about that. Good morning. What's cooking, good looking? Hi, girl. <laughs> What's going on? I made a selection from Dr. Nile's diet. An egg white and chunky sausage. OK. Let's get to it. Even though this has been an adjustment for me, Cameo helped push me to stay on track with everything, with my better eating and my exercises, to make sure I keep doing good. Would you like black pepper on your eggs? Sure. Can you surprise me with some cheese? Nah, that ain't on the diet, but... I promise I'm gonna try to make it taste. But you know, guys, she's really so lucky that she has her best friend who's all time nearly with her, who can support her all time. And I think it is the most important thing in our life when we have, like, like a sister, yeah? It's a friend who, like, a sister for herself. So, guys, and do you have your best friend in your life? Okay, like cool. So, because so far it has been going well. The tasting has been actually well, you know. I know you're gonna like the meal, but I don't think you're gonna like the workout that's gonna come after uh -huh. it. I'm gonna try to get you right this morning. Mm -hmm. All right? Oh, cool. She wants me to get to her gym and work with her trainer too, but I haven't worked up to where I'm comfortable with being in public like that. So I told her when I get to a better place, I considered going out. But for now, she's cooking me better and healthy meals. And then we do the exercises here at home. I appreciate you a whole lot, friend. You're very welcome. I'm glad Irene is willing to do this because I love her dearly. I've been knowing her over 15 years, and I just want what's best for her. So I'm going to continue to do like I've been doing. I've been a strong-minded, stable friend that motivates her. I empower her. I uplift her. Yeah. I try to be the positive person in her ear to try to do the right thing. I've been around her when she's had her episodes, when she coughs and she blacks out. And it just really freaked me Does out. X? And that's when I just really started like, hey, I, I see I cannot play with you. So I've been waiting for her to do something like this to get healthy. Are you hungry, Irene? It's coming. I am hungry. I don't care what it is. Just bring it on. <laughs> so I want to do what I can to keep her focused and on track so she can succeed at this. The only concern I have is that I can't be with her 24 hours a day. But guys, I don't think that sausages is the best way to lose weight. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna do the best that I can and hope it helps her enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks mm -hmm. protein-ish, friend. <laughs> <laughs> it looks healthy. Yes, okay. It's That's what it is, healthy. Let's try. Let's try. You like it? No and yes. No and yes? Mm -mm. Maybe because it's no seasoning. No pain, no gain. No flavor, no pleasure. Healthy. Healthy. I know it's healthy. Healthy. Obviously, I'll get used to it. This is a big adjustment for me, but I know this is important for me to be committed to, to get a better life and achieve my goals. It's for a purpose. And Cameo is right. My focus needs to be on being healthy, so that's what I'm trying to do, no matter how difficult it's going to be. Well, that meal's done. Now let's get to this workout. Ready? 
Let's go. Alrighty. <laughs> Cameo keeps showing me new things and ways to be active, you know, even though it's only been a week. I can feel myself getting a little stronger already. So this is medicine ball. I'm gonna hand you the ball, and every time you hand it back to me, I want you to give. So, guys, and do you like to, 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 to have a sport in your life? As for me, I'm also a little bit lazy personality, and I all the time have a lot of excuses why I don't want to have the sport activity. Yeah, and uh, I understood and I understand now how it's really hard to our main person make the sport activity yeah, because <laughs> she's. Um, this person yeah and it is all time more harder yeah to to find this uh, to, to, to find everything something reason to make it and what about you how many times do you um, go to the gym yeah or have a sport activity at your home me a goal on why you want to lose this weight okay, okay. wow Very important. it's motivation yeah I want to be able to be with my children okay I want to be a better me for myself. Okay. I want to be able to open my own business. Girl, go. And do what I need to do. Wow, good motivation. <laughs> I want to be able to have sex and do more and more sex. Go, go, go. I told you that she loves sex. <laughs> Girl, I'm feeling good and I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> Thank you for helping me work out, girl. <laughs> you putting me out? Yes. Oh my God. I love you though. I love you too. No. <laughs> See you later. They are so cute. Juicy. I'm committed Juicy. to get to my goal. <sighs> well. So I'm going to keep doing all this with Cameo and on my own to keep getting better so my next appointment can be good to where I'm able to move ahead. Besides Germany, Juicy, it's also like bye bye. <laughs> it's the same. In advance on my journey to get healthy and have my life back. Oh, we will come to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Third month. Me and Cameo is headed back to doctor now. Mm-hmm. And I'm nervous to see how I done with my progress. Nervous to find out where my weight is landed today. But I know I made progress. I know I'm doing better. And I should see some advancement with my weight in a positive direction. When I get on this scale. They are so fashionable. Wow. Mm, it's not a simple girl. Irene? No, the I most interesting. I just don't know how much it is. It definitely had me feeling so nervous like this. But I'm trying to keep my optimism that this is going to be good and that I'm going to have a good appointment. But and? I know that's only going to happen if my scale number is good. So I'm really hoping that what comes up is what I need it to be. 598. Oh. It's a loss, so that's a positive. But it's not a lot. And I'm worried there's going to be a focus for Dr. Now. Oh, for her weight is practically nothing, so she hasn't changed her habits and she continues to overeat. <sighs> you know, I know I could have done better, but it's a move in the right direction. And my hope is that that at least shows a dedication towards getting better. And I worked very hard for two months to do that. And I'm proud of myself for that because it took a lot of commitment. And so I'm hoping a great deal. That's what Dr. Now sees from this. Hi, Hi, Dr. Now. How are you? Good. So, Irene, how are you doing? Because it doesn't look like you made much of a change over the last two months. So why is that? 
I think I was doing better, but it's been hard, Dr. Now. I'm not gonna lie, it's been hard. Eating only on this diet seems like I'm not eating nothing at times, if that makes sense. But I'm trying to do better. It's a process with me. Losing five pounds in me, you haven't tried that hard and hardly change anything. So what changes do you actually make? I got rid of a lot of bad stuff in the house, and I've been uh, trying to adapt to your healthy meals. Cameo helped me with all that, and I think I still had a little issues with the things I ate still. I think that's always been my issue. You know how much I eat. So that's what I really need to work on. So, Cameo, why do you think Irene lost only five pounds if you're helping her? I've tried to push Irene to change her eating habits and to exercise, but it's been hard. And our biggest problem is that I can't be with her 24 hours of the day. So mm -hmm. I don't know what she eats when I'm not around. Do you eat any junk food after she leaves? There are times that I need to eat more and I may not have made the best choices. Do you remember I told you this is all up to you? Yes, I do. There is no magic solution here. No quick fix with weight loss surgery. And you can kind of do this. You either want to save your life or you don't. So you need to decide if your life is more important than food. My life is more important than food, Dr. Now. Well, you mentioned a couple times you want to do this to be a better mom. Is food more important to you than being a better mom? Being a mom is very important to me because I need to be here for myself. And so guys, you know, it's so interesting. I'm watching Con her and she's wearing makeup, she's wearing a wig, but uh, she'll time finds a lot of excuses and reasons why she can't lose this weight. I think it's not her real desire, yeah? It's, uh, she wants uh, that it was like huge and she will be the skinny, yeah? But um, I, it doesn't work in this case. <sighs> My children, period, point blank. Right now, you're still putting food over them and your health. You get that? Yes, and I do want to change that. Then you need to do that now, because nothing is going to change with your health and your situation until you do. No one is coming to save you. You have to save yourself. And if Best you do friends. that, then we can help you. I know. We are here to help, not fix your situation. It's all up to you. You understand that? Yes, I do understand that totally. And I'm going to try harder. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Then your goal is the same. Lose 60 pounds in two months. And if you do that, then we will move ahead with you and consider surgery. I will try to do better. I promise, Dr. No. Okay. Good. How are you doing with your exercises? Is your stamina improving? <sighs> no. My back is killing me. And I'm still struggling with being out of breath. Then you're not really doing those like you should. So do better with your diet and exercises or we're not moving ahead with you. You got that? I'll do it. I got you. Okay. I'll see you in two months. And if you need anything before then, give me a call. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll Thank see you, you later. Okay. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm very disappointed to see such little progress with Irene. With the test we ran on her a month ago, she's very lucky she doesn't have a more serious condition behind some of the health issues she was struggling with, like her coughing and passing out at times. But the strain she still has on her system from her weight is going to lead to a dangerous situation with her very soon. It could be a week from now or a year from now. But the fact is that until she loses enough weight to reduce that strain on her system, every day is a risk for her where her body could give out. And the longer she goes like this, the riskier it gets for her. So she needs to wake up and start taking her situation much more seriously before her body gives out and she runs out of time. So yeah, I agree with the doctor that uh, of course on the first step all time stay uh, healthy food, I mean the right food. Of course if you want uh, to eat just junky food you can never lose your weight. And on the second step is of course sport activity, but when for example you try go to the gym four times per week and uh, all time eat uh, junky food, it doesn't help. Of course, unfortunately. And in her case, she needs to have more sport activity because 
because five pounds for herself it's really it's zero i hear what dr now said to me you know i have cameo to help me and we have to find a way for me to eat even better and to push myself as hard as it takes because this is the only path that I have to get a better life. So I have to stay on it because my health and so much more is depending on it. Because if I lose this opportunity, I basically lose my life. No, oh, one month later. For the past month, I've been focusing on doing better. All right, good looking. Let's start cooking. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. And Cameo is still helping me with that, but we changed our approach some with how we're doing it because she is trying to help me become more independent. So I've been trying to learn from her. Hand me the food. Broccoli and chicken. No, one? it's more better. Chicken. All right. Chicken. Then Skin sausages. Rock, rock, rock. Irene is trying to do better and make better choices since she started Dr. Noun's program. But I think part of the problem for her last time was that she was eating right and working hard when I was helping her. And I think when she got on her own and wanted something to eat, she was going back to her old ways and maybe not even fully realizing that she was doing that. But I think she was finding times when I wasn't around to order some fast food and getting things she shouldn't have. So after the last appointment, me and her talked about the need for her to start being able to do these things on her own. Make her own healthy meals with the right portions and everything. And then also understand the workout so she wouldn't be so dependent on me to do any of that. So that when yeah, I... Yeah, it is clear that her best friend wants that she, that she will be healthier. But it's not her desire. Yeah, Irene must uh, understand how important it is. Yeah, and of course, the best friend can say all time something. Yeah, but it's not about her. I mean, not about her desire. Maybe she wants, but her wish is like this. I'm not around, she can cook something healthy for herself that she knows how to cook instead of ordering it and making a bad choice out of convenience. But I hope that she can handle it. I really hope because uh, all people deserve for a normal life. I know all of this has been a hard adjustment for her and so it's been a slow process. But she is making some progress and she is trying. We ain't got no salt but put you some onions and some garlic and all that. Yes, get you a little flavor going. I've been enjoying the things that Cameo been trying to teach me, and it's made me feel more empowered being able to do this. Don't flip them yet. Let them cook. I know she still have a lot to teach me, and I still have a lot to learn, so I can do it all on my own to be independent. And that's something I need to do for myself. Not just for me to reach Dr. Nile's goal, but for me to have a better way of life. And that's what I remind myself of when doing this is hard. I know I haven't been perfect with all this, but I'm trying. That's the one thing I can say is that I'm 100% trying my hardest to do this. And I may mess up when I have my cravings or I feel hungry still after my meal. Don't be giving me all your steamed broccoli, girl. But I'm facing my struggles, and I'm pushing myself to keep making improvements so I can advance how I need. I'm moving forward every day because how much I want to do this. It is good, girl. How much I want to lose the weight and be there for my kids. I just want to have a better Let's life. Let's do it. And do normal things. We done had a great meal, so it's time to exercise. Let's see what you got. Oh, my own. Let's get it. I know I should have done better the first time, but that's the past. So my aim is to do better this time and work to no. make it to where I need. Is it and really my next more appointment with Dr. Now. I go back to see him in a month. So that's how long I have. Like this. 20 times, okay? okay? So I know I need to keep my focus and work my hardest that whole time and not waste a moment of it. Okay. 
because when I go back this next time, I need my progress to be enough to where Dr. Now tells me he's moving me forward to get weight loss surgery so I can get closer. Because I want to be the most beautiful, the most sexy lady in the world. Yeah, it's, it's a good motivation. <laughs> to the better life I'm fighting to have. We will watch the result. The resistance band. Okay, you say do what now? Put it back how I had it at your feet. Okay. You should stretch your arms. Like this? Yeah. Or you can do one at a time. Go bring it up. So no matter what, from now to then, I'm working as hard as my body will let me. Like this. this. Like this. Like this. And I'm not giving in to anything bad, no matter what. That I said before, it's a really a huge job. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not about to have uh, a simple life that she had before. No, it's really change all her habits all your life. I mean about her. And she can handle it. I really hope I want it. She's coming to the doctor and we will watch of your results. Me and my niece Mimi are heading to see doctor now for my next appointment. It's my third one and it's gonna be my second chance to reach Dr. Now's goal. <sighs> and I'm hoping I did that. I know I improved what I've been doing with my diet and exercises and work even harder so I can have a better result today. Because I very much want to advance with Dr. Now to get weight loss surgery. I'm just nervous to see what my results is going to be on the scale and the number it gives with my weight. Whew. Irene? I know I made more progress. That's not a question for me. But my progress just needs to be enough. And that's the only thing I'm nervous about right now. Because I can't tell if I'm I lost enough too. to have the results I need on the scale. And my last appointment, I only made it down to 598. And the goal I needed was to lose 60 pounds by now. So I need my number to be under 538 from the scale if I made it. 591. Oh, shit. <sighs> Sorry. I obviously have a lot of disappointment. For five months, 13 pounds, it's... No comments. And with that progress amount, I was really expecting more. You know, it's an improvement. I didn't lose more this time, but I know it's not a lot more, and it's a lot less than what I was thinking to be because of how hard I've been working. So I'm upset about that. And I just hope Dr. Now is not too frustrated with what he's going to tell me. He thinks about where I'm at and the progress that I have so far. Because I really am trying very hard to advance myself as much as I can. Hello, how y'all doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing okay. So, who did you bring with you today? My name's Mimi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what happened to Cameo? She couldn't make it, so my niece came with me today. She been helping me try to do what I need to do to make me better. But Cameo can make it today because she said it had some other stuff she needed to do. Okay. Well, maybe she didn't want to face the music and explain why she hasn't been able to help you to do better like you were supposed to. Because this time, you only lost seven pounds. So two more pounds the last time. And a whole extra pound in a month, huh? I know. I thought you were going to try harder. So what happened? I guess it's just hard. That's it. Because I'm trying to stick to it all. I keep pushing myself, but it's just not enough. You know I can see that, and I know I have to do better. Well, that's what you said last time. And you only improved two pounds. So at this rate, 
it may take you years to get to your target weight. And you won't survive long enough to do that. So what's going to take to wake you up and get you to realize how serious your situation is and how dangerous it is for you to continue like this because you're still putting food over your health and your life. So how do we change that? I just have to try harder. You keep saying that, but there is no action behind that. So you think... Yeah, all times she says that she will try it harder and harder, but we will watch the result and... It's all about lazy. A therapist will help you understand things better and help you make improvements. I had a therapist for years and we talked about my eating all the time. So you have our guidance and instruction and the guidance of therapists, but you're still not waking up and taking the situation seriously. So I'm not sure what more we can do. If you're not willing to take responsibility and make the changes you need. Doctor, now I know I can do this. Don't you give up on me. I will lose the weight. It's just been a lot harder than I thought. But I promise if you give me another chance, I'll do it. I know I can do this. I have it in me and I'm ready to do this. I just need one more chance. You can have all the chances you want, but your body is the one is going to tell you that you are out of chances. So this is all set up to you. If you want to move ahead, then lose at least 60 pounds over the next two months. But if you don't do that, your situation isn't going to get better. It's going to get worse. Guys, have you ever met the person that all time promise you that I will or I can or I will and another another thing, but have never done it? I have. And what about you? Until it's too late for you, because nothing we do will make any difference long term if you don't start doing this on your own. Do you understand that? 100%. I know I can do it this time. You'll see. I hope so. I will. I promise you that. Okay. Then I'll see you in two months weighing at least 60 pounds lighter. Yes, sir. I will lose the weight. All right. If you need anything before then, let me know. Nice to meet you, Mimi. Nice to meet you too, Dr. Now. All right, y'all. I really don't understand why she di didn't want to come to the psychologist. If she have a lot of problems in her, in her mind, she can solve it with a professional. Why not? Take care. You too. You too. I am at least glad to see that Irene isn't gaining right now. But so far, in four months, she has only lost 13 pounds. That's only three pounds a month. And at that rate, it will take her over a decade to get to her target weight. But she won't survive long enough to do that with all the strength she has on her body. In her current condition, I think it is unlikely that she will survive more than another year or two unless she starts to lose a lot of weight before her body gets to a breaking point. So she either has to wake up and take this seriously enough to pick up the pace with her weight loss, or she's not going to make it. I know I need to do better. That's pretty much all I can say. I need to do better and I try harder, and I want to do better. I want to do this, and I'm trying, you know? I improved last time because of that, just not as much as I thought. But me and Cameo brainstormed on how I can do better last time. And mm. I thought those improvements gonna be enough because they was hard for me to do. But somehow I have to do better again. And I will, you know? I'm not sure how I can work harder, but I have to, so I figure it out. Because I'm not stopping at this. And I'm not giving up. Yeah, never give up. It's the best for us ever, but... Uh... You need to to want it, yeah. If you haven't got any ideas, any desires, uh, I mean, about lose your weight, it's, that is just lose your time and all. Mm -hmm. One month later, and what happened? After my last appointment with Dr. Now, I told Cameo about my progress. And she was disappointed it wasn't more, just like I was. But she knows I don't want to quit. 
and she don't want me to either. So we went back to brainstorm more ways for me to improve even more than last time. And so what we came up with is for me to cut back on more ingredients that I use with my meals. And all the extra that I put in, I haven't been putting in like butter and stuff or anything like that. Sometimes I like some cheese added in. But I don't even do that either. It's more like the oils and the seasoning. I'm gonna cut back on more. And I've been trying to do that for the past couple of weeks. This is the biggest adjustment for me so far. Mm -hmm. Tastes like all the flavor is gone on top of what was taken out of my meal already. So it just feel even tougher now. Salad. But I'm still doing it. And I'm trying to improve, you know? I've been doing my exercises every day, twice a day. But the problem with doing no, that it's so tasty. is that there's not so much room for activity in my apartment because overall, I'm still uncomfortable doing any sorts of exercise in public. You know, Amia wants me to go to her gym to work out there with her person, but I don't feel ready for that. But we decided a good compromise was to try to do walks outside around my complex. Because there probably won't be people around if I do it in the evening. And you know, if there are, then I could just go back to my place. So I told her I'd be willing to try to do that and see how I can handle it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do with my niece Mimi today. Maybe and I'm gonna try out. to walk around the block once, once the sun gets low, and then see how it goes. My niece Mimi been helping me more and more lately. When came you up being busy? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mimi. <laughs> you know? I know she has her life and things she has to do, and I take up a lot of time. So I understand she has to balance that with me. Because it's oh, cold. Oh, it will be so yeah, interesting. Now we will watch her wait. So Mimi is stepping up to give me some of the support that I need. My son has to work, so he usually isn't here much. Oh, the rails are cold. And we got warm up. Okay. You all right? Mm -hmm. I just get a little dizzy. So if Cameo can't do it, then Mimi is all I got at those times. Okay. Yeah, you know it was. You know it wasn't gonna be easy. Oh yeah, I know. I know. Nah, not, yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Take your breath. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So she's been assisting me. And she's also been encouraging me to work hard and to push myself like Cameo does. And that's been important for me to help me stay motivated and focused. <sighs> hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Go, go, go for it. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, my back. <sighs> I was sick. Yeah, to have sport activity in our life, it's uh, like the same to have a longer life. <laughs> Guys, do you agree with this phrase? As for me, um, 50 for 50 maybe. Mm, sometimes it uh, can be happen whatever we ever never waiting for it. But, but of course it is alive. And what do you think? Will Iris wait, lose her weight? So I'm thankful to her for that. I do wish she'd be easier on me. Like I wish with Cameo sometimes, but I know it's important to push myself because I know this is no pain, no gain. Oh, Lean man. on me. <sighs> Lean on me. 
Oh. Okay. Oh my God, I got skin skin from my back. Oh, I'm completely wiped out from that. It was a lot. Man, I'm so breathe. I'm trying. Slow breaths. Okay. You gotta walk every day. I know. Man. It's gonna get easier every day. I know it's just my back. But as time as I'm out, I'm glad I pushed myself to do it. You know? <laughs> as for me, it's is it it's really easier not to eat. I mean, our eating that um, I haven't got any uh, sport activity because I got it. Yeah, I understand how it's uh, hard for yourself, and now it is really a challenge for her. But she needs. Uh, that was the best exercise I had in years, and there wasn't really any people, so I think I could keep trying it and handling doing it as long as I have Mimi or Cameo with me. My bad. But I'm gonna keep pushing myself like this and going even harder with everything I need to keep doing it. You know, with both the diet and the exercises, because I'm very willing to do whatever it takes to succeed so I can get help before Dr. Now gives up on me or before my body can't take it anymore and it gives out. Woo, I'm sure pain. Okay. The stairs is right here. Okay. So making it to my goal by this next appointment in two months is very important to me. Because one of those things is going to happen soon if I don't. Okay. And I can't let myself run out of time. One year, one month. Oh ho. Mm -hmm. It's been a very scary period for me because I haven't been sure what's gonna happen with everything. Like my chances to get weight loss surgery. Oh, you want it like some uh, garlic powder and onion after my third appointment. So it came more than six months. Oh. I only lost 12 pounds total, and I still haven't made it to the 60 pound goal I was supposed to get to. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to have my fourth appointment like six months ago, but it got canceled because of the pandemic. You know, I'm gonna have to wing it with the broccoli too. Since then, the stress has made it hard. But I wanted to keep working on what I needed to stay on track this whole time. But for me to do that has been just difficult. I ain't gonna put too many. Too many what? Mushrooms. Yeah, just put like two or three. But Mushrooms made it is very also delicious. Hard not to eat for comfort when I really needed it. So I know I stumbled a lot over the last seven months, especially since. I haven't been able to see Cameo at all to get the encouragement and the direction I was getting from her. You know, we talk on calls and stuff, and I've been able to do that a couple of times with Dr. Now. But it's just hard not to see anybody, especially Cameo. Honestly, Ma, I don't think this food will be coming out bad, you know? I hope not. I got to eat it. <laughs> I appreciate you. I know you're over there trying. My niece and my son have been trying to fill that void, but it's still been so hard, even with them stepping in. So I still struggle a lot. You know what? I believe this is a perfectly cooked fish. My fear has been that I'm not going to make it through it, and that's been terrifying for me because I know my body is not in a good place, and it hasn't been for a while. And I know how I need to change that. So guys, all time we will see the right food, yeah, I mean healthy food without any junk, yeah, and another another things. Why she didn't lose the weight? What happened? But I came without help and weight loss surgery. And my biggest fear has been that I lost the chance to get that. 
I don't even know when it's going to be possible to get it. Things like weight loss surgery have been put on hold, too. And you know, I made my family worry because they had hopes like I did that I was going to help. I did pretty good. Oh, for real? Oh. While I've been at home, I've been a little worried about my mom. I try to make sure she's not feeling lonely, depressed, and stuff like that. You know, I'm just trying to keep her on the right track. I don't think I lost much more weight since my last weight check. I probably gained some over the past seven months. But recently, I've been finding my determination again. I'm getting full. And I don't want to give up if there's a chance I could still get Dr. Now help because I have to get better. So if Dr. Now says I can continue again, I'll be fully committed then. That's all you eating? Mm-hmm. Yes. OK. You just had dinner, so you ready to work at it? Yes. I hand me the weights. So, by the way. Let me sit up a little bit. No sports activity. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I know I could have done better before because there were moments I gave in and I didn't do my best. Three. Four. But I really am ready to do whatever. So, of course, she want to be better for her son is correctly yeah but um, not for only the son yeah i mean for herself on the first step for herself because she has a problem with health she has a problem with her private life yeah she has a problem with with all things yeah all the small uh, small part of her life it's it's like a small problem but when she loses weight then uh, she really have like another uh, another life really happy life it takes I talked to Dr. Nell a couple of times, but it's been over seven months now since I saw him, and I don't even know what my options are at this point. Uh, uh, 20. Uh, oh, Lord. I know you feel that okay. muscle, huh? Shut up, boy. <laughs> I'm ready to do this. I just need a little time to get on track again and lose that weight. My hope is if I do that, I can finally get the weight loss surgery to help save my life before I get worse and run out of time. 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the most interesting part. I have a video call with Dr. Now today to see if it's possible for me to go back to him and have another appointment. But and around a few months so I can have time to get back on track before I actually do go back to the scale and get my weight checked. Because if he give me that, I know I can do it. But I don't know what he's... So now I can say that she doesn't lose her weight. <sighs> Ultimately, gonna say, because it's been a while, and I don't know if his perspective has changed about anything, and if he's gonna think I had enough chances. And now she will say for another reason why she can't. And it will be all time. Already now that resources are different right now and things seem up in the air. But hopefully he says I can get back to his program and have the chance again because I'm truly ready to do whatever it takes now. I'm good considering. How you holding up? You know, okay? Yeah. So how you been doing with your diet since we talked a couple of months ago? I've been struggling. I don't think I made as much progress, to be honest with you. Okay, well, we discussed my concern about that. Because as hard as it's been with everything going on, if you could justify eating junk food and you're overeating, then your health is going to continue to decline. And there is no excuse for that, no matter the situation. And at this point, if you're still killing yourself with food, what do you want me to do about that? Because I'm not sure what more we can do for you if you still are not going to make the choice to change your eating habits and take the step you need to, to get healthy. I understand what you're saying, Dr. Nan. I know I made some mistakes. I know that. I got depressed having to be home this long with the pandemic. But now I just want to get back on track. And I want my last chance that I asked you for when I was in your office the last time. 
And I want to meet your goals if I can have some time to do that. And I wanted to have a new chance, please. You ready to do that? Yes, 100%. I'm going to get back on a diet and do that with my exercise and lose the 50 pounds that you want me to lose. So what's going to make the difference this time? When you said that every time, what, you come in with almost no progress? The pandemic, with everything that's happened, has made me realize a lot. But I don't know. It was like I was forced to look at my situation and I had a... Guys, who lived or lives now in a, uh, pand in America, I mean, about pandemic? It is really so... It was so scary. I mean, it was so strange time. Can you please write the comments how it was? A lot to lose. And I just want a second chance to do what I have to do with my life this time. Okay, I'll give you two more months. No second... The time and the day when you can come in. And I expect you to be at least around 540 pounds at that point. Do you got that? Yes, sir, I understand what you're saying. And I'm going to do it, and Cameo is going to help me too. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. I'm going to do it this time. All right, I hope so. I will. Yeah, I'll see you in two months then. In the meantime, keep safe. And if you need anything, give me a call. Okay, I will. Thank you, Dr. Now. Okay. Bye. Bye, Dr. Now. For the next two months, I'm going to do everything I can to make it to my goal. No more messing around. No more compromises. When I get extra hungry, no more messing up or excuses. I'm doing this. You know, I'm very thankful that Dr. Now is giving me another chance to do this and get his help. And so I'm not gonna let myself waste it. No matter what, 100% go hit my goal this time and get the weight loss surgery. Unfortunately, surgery can't help her if she haven't uh, changed her habits. Eating habits, her life habits, yeah, it doesn't work like an operation and you will be skinny for full of your life. Uh-uh. Nah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm ready to take a big step for myself today. For my physical advancement with my exercises. Doing more of those. But with my fears too. Get a shrimp bag with some potatoes and some food. Oh, oh. Because I'm going to Cameo's gym and I'm going to work out with her trainer at a public place. Mm -hmm. And it's a very big step for me with my willingness to do that. <laughs> but I do feel like I'm in a better place to be ready to try this and handle myself in public. Come on, friend. Hi, Nancy. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Good to see you. How are you good? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. This is Irene. Hi, Irene. Hi, my dear. How are you? Hi. My hands are cold. I'm That's sorry. That's okay. How are you feeling? I'm from, I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Well, I'm glad you're here. You so good? friendly you trainer. Good. Okay, let me show you what we're going to start at. Okay. Cameo always been pushing me to go to her gym with her trainer. Doing all of that? Yeah. But I haven't felt physically or mentally ready for that until recently. I just want to... You know, I started doing walks around my apartment to build up my stamina more. Okay. And I feel like it helped me. All you're doing is taking your toes literally and touching. It's just getting you to lift. If you don't go that high, you can kick it. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to... Cause
Oh. Okay, hold on. Let me take a breath. No, you take. It is maybe her first visit in the sport gym that she doesn't uh, know how it's work. Take a break. I got and Let me take a breath. It's a process. That's okay. Okay. I'm I know over. the pain. That was hard, but I feel good, like I did when I started walking around my block. So I know that means I'm getting a good workout. So I feel good about that, but I'm exhausted. But it's a good kind of exhausted because I know it means I'm progressing and getting further towards where I want to be. And I know I need to do that as much as possible right now because I only have one more month to get to my goal. And I tend to be where I need to be by the end because this might be my last chance to get Dr. Now's help. So there's no way I'm gonna mess that up or fall short. I don't believe in it. And risk losing it again. This is too important. And I know without a doubt in my mind, my life depends on this. Mm-hmm. The most exciting moments. Me and Cameo are headed back to another appointment with Dr. Now. Mm-hmm. And we both feeling confident about my progress. But I'm still nervous. It's hard not to be, with so much depending on the number I get, because it could determine the rest of my life at this point. Irene? As dramatic as that sounds. <laughs> but I know I'm running out of chances, and I can feel I've been running out of time with my body. And if I lose this chance, then that's gonna take my only hope for me. So that's what I'm very nervous about because I really do believe my life is dependent on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well done. (laughs) Come on. I'm feeling very proud of myself. And I'm excited to get Dr. Now reaction. I knew I can do this if I focus my mind like I need it. So I'm feeling very happy right now with my progress, and I'm very hopeful that this means I can fully advance really today cool. to get my weight loss surgery. Hello. Hi, Doctor. Now I'm How happy to hear. I'm doing okay. How y'all doing? Good. So, Irene, you finally did it and got to your goal. Yes, sir. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Finally, yeah. It only took you a little bit over a year. I don't think seven months of that should have counted with everything that's going on with the pandemic. Fair enough. But in spite of how long it took, I am proud of you for finally doing it. Thank you, Dr. Mel. So <laughs> what was the difference this time? After a few months with being at home, I thought I lost my chance of going to surgery. And I guess it made me realize how close I am to not having any options for help. And I told myself if I got another chance, no matter what, I have to take it. So I just cut out all the bad stuff I was eating with no exceptions. No more excuses and justifying I just did it. And can't be no me. more excuses. Okay, so it took the pandemic to wake you up. Yes, it did. I guess you can say that. I guess she wasn't cheating no more whenever I left the building. <laughs> <laughs> See, she got the results. <laughs> Great. Well, Irene, I'm proud of you and I'm gonna prove you for weight loss surgery. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, girl. Yes. Oh my yes. God. Oh, my God. Right, we put in to yes, it. girl. <laughs> thank you so yes, much. Yes, honey. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, hard work pays off. Oh, yes. But here's the situation with COVID and the safety restrictions. And because there is concern of another spike in cases, elective surgery may not be feasible for a little bit longer. So right now, it may take a few months before we are able to get you on a schedule. But as soon as we're able, we'll do that. Oh, okay. But until then, what I need you to do is keep losing, okay? Okay. 
as long as you keep heading in the right direction until then, we'll be able to move ahead with you, okay? Okay, but how long do you think it would take? Because I wasn't expecting to have to keep meeting any goals like that. You don't need to meet any weight loss goals. Just keep losing, okay? And it is possible we can move ahead with you in two months. But it may take three. It depends on how things are over the next couple of months. Okay. So we'll move ahead as soon as possible. Just make sure to stay on track. And at least lose something reasonable, like 10 pounds a month, until we are able to do the operation. You should be able to lose that easily. You think you can do that? I can do that, Dr. Now, definitely. I come this far that I'm getting the surgery, that I'm going to do it. OK, great. Well, I'm proud of you. Good job. Thank you, Dr. So now I'm seeing another earrings, and now I'm also proud of her because she is stronger, yeah? She looks really fresh, yeah? And uh, all time she's, uh, she wants to be, of course, a beautiful, the success girl, yeah? And uh, I'm proud of her, yeah? She can handle it, and she can continue, and she have had and this operation, and I think it will be all with the lucky. And I will let you know if we can get you in a schedule soon. If not, we'll do a follow-up in a couple of months and see how you're doing. But if you need anything before then, let me know. I will, Dr. Nell. Thank you. Okay. See you soon. You too. Take care, Dr. Nell. Be safe out there. Bye. 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 Good job. <laughs> I am very happy to see the turnaround with Irene and that she's finally taking responsibility for herself after all this time. It's unfortunate it took what it did to finally wake her up, but at least she's taking the initiative to do what she needs now to get healthy and turn her life around. So I'm proud of her for doing that, when she could have easily used everything going on as more of an excuse to continue heading in the wrong direction. So now she just needs to stay motivated to keep making some progress and heading in the right direction until we are able to perform her weight loss surgery. But right now, I'm proud of her, and I feel optimistic that she's going to keep working hard to move forward enough for us to be able to help her and give her the tools she needs to stay on track and do this for the long run. But Irene still has a long road ahead to get to where she needs, and it's not going to be easy for her. But right now, I'm proud of her, and I feel optimistic from the attitude I see from her right now, that she's going to keep working hard to move forward enough for us to be able to help her and give her the tools she needs <laughs> to stay on track and do this for the long run. I'm very happy to be approved, and that I'm finally advancing like I'm very much needed. But I'm a little disappointed about the wait to do it. But I understand, you know, it is what it is, and I'm just gonna keep on track, like Dr. Nell says. So when it does come time, I can still move forward. So you know, it's not a setback, just a delay. But I'm not gonna let that interfere with the celebration. You know, it feels really good. So I'm very excited and I'm gonna keep focused and working hard until I get it and I can move ahead. And I'm very much looking forward to that day. Hopefully soon. Oh, one year and four months. So what happened? She is cooking. I'm trying to cook a healthy meal. You want me to help me cut up some stuff? All right, what you need help with? Right, well, um, cut up the cucumbers. I know I've seen a cucumber. Yeah, right here. After I told everyone the news of my success with my approval, they were all excited for me. And since then, they've been very supportive with me to help me stay on track to get the surgery so I don't do anything to mess it up. You know, it's important because you need to eat healthy because of her diet and her energy level. So, you know, it's a big step for my mom. It's good. Well, here you go. You know, I did my duty. You know, they all adopted eating better with me. So it's not something I'm always doing on my own right now. No, Hi, your guys. friends. Hey. Always with her. Hey. We're still not together with every meal. 
But you know, with everyone still being at home a lot, with precautions for the pandemic, them all doing this with me now is a good encouragement. Look at you all eating all healthy and stuff. Yes, girl. Plus, I think I'm getting to be a good cook. So they getting the benefit from that too now. It's gonna be delicious. Let's eat, come on. <laughs> I'm very thankful for their support oh, and all the love through this. Dr. Me too. now said it should be scheduled in less than two months from now. So I just need to stay focused to then. This is Tuna. I'm putting some on the side. I pat it myself, you guys. You want some? Yeah. It sticks to what I need to do. Oh. But I am excited. Getting the surgery is so close for me. And I'm very much looking forward to all the coming after my surgery. Because I know this second chance is a blessing. You know, it's a gift to me that I'm not gonna take for granted at any moment of my life going forward. You know, this is my chance for a new life. And to have the hope again, and to be able to believe that things can get better. Yeah, it is her chance for her new life, yeah? And uh, I think her new life, uh, she likes more better than her previous life. And uh, when she says the phrase that uh, it's for me, it's all, uh -uh, it's just cheating part. You can't ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of the reality. And in her case, I think that now she's really more powerful and stronger than she was in the start of our project. Better is a very good feeling to have. And I don't want to ever lose that again. But I know that means I have to keep working for it. So I am. Hey, this was delicious, man. I enjoyed y'all company. I love y'all. Love you too, baby. I'm going to work extremely hard for that and for my family, especially for my kids, so I can get to where I can be back in their life like mm -hmm. I want, to be there for them. And I ain't going to work hard for myself to have the opportunities that I want. So I'm very excited about things and what I'm going to be able to accomplish and all the things that are going to be a part of my life because I'm doing this. Never in a million years I would have thought I would be on a diet and sticking to it. I'm so proud of myself. I gotta pat myself on the back. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I'm feeling real good about myself and my life right now. And I'm looking forward to when I can move ahead and get my weight loss surgery. I stepped out to change my life and I'm accomplishing that and I'm ready to do whatever it takes to keep moving forward and to have that future that I wanted my whole life. So no matter what comes my way, I'm not getting distracted or of course with any excuses or just to find bad choices. I'm staying dedicated and getting to where I want no matter what. I'm loving this diet no matter what though. And I'm determined and I'm motivated. I'm excited for you. I know. I'm so glad y'all was with me on this journey. I just need y'all to continue to support me, you know. Of course. Of course. And of course. I want you to meet a man. It's about time. It is about time. Yes, girl. It's time. It is time. <laughs> and I, I know I can do this, you know what I'm saying? Because my future is like an open book to me now, where I'm helping write the pages. Before I wasn't because I gave up control of my life, but I'm mm -hmm. changing that. And you know, I'm excited to see how my own story progresses. And I'm very happy and very much looking forward to all that. And what's ahead for me now? Group hug, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all so much. <laughs> So guys, it is the end of our story and I can say that um, now for me Iris is real a new person and I hope that uh, she will have this operation and her life will be of course better yeah, and uh, all what she wants she will receive. So thank you for your attention, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video as much as I did and um, don't forget about likes and comments and of course if i have a chance to see your life after this project of course i will yeah but unfortunately i can't find it but uh, if you have some idea or if you want something to see uh to watch with me you can always write to me and uh, i will done it <laughs> i will do it with you so thank you for your attention and see